ladies welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is Tanya Kulakian I help women launch and grow successful six plus figure businesses all while living the lifestyle that they love and this lifestyle I'd like to call the beautified life and if you don't know what the beautified life is I just wrote a book called the beautified women's life matrix which you can find down below in the caption there's a link that you can access it for free and basically I wrote this book through my own experience of building businesses and burning out and finding a way to find a balance in life so if you're interested in that go down into the caption and get your free ebook today so I am going to be speaking on a particular topic uh, that I love personally and it's called less hustle and more grace so listen I understand that being an entrepreneur we do need to hustle it's extremely important we do need to have that pace where we are achieving our goals but at the same time we have to consider why we are achieving the goals that we want to achieve a lot of the time people enter the business sphere especially entrepreneurialism because they want to make money and they want to make it fast and they want to live the lifestyle they love but before we even enter that, we have to ask ourselves what our purpose is and why we are doing what we're doing. And a lot of the time, we have to have a grounded approach when it comes to being an entrepreneur and launching and growing a business because really we want our business to work for us, not against us. And we want our business to be able to achieve the life that we truly desire, not just a lifestyle, not part of a culture, not just a flaunt, but to really be able to harness the dimension of grace. So I'm excited to talk about this topic today and let's get started. Okay, so tip number one, lean into your calling, not the hustle. As purpose-filled women, we know that we are called to do incredible things, but our journey is meant to be led by God and our God-given purpose, not by the world's standard and idea of what entrepreneurship is and what wealth is. So in Psalm 46.10, it says, Be still and know that I am God. And this is a reminder that we need to trust God's vision for our life as well as his timing and provision. So a practical action that you can take today is to make sure that when you wake up in the morning, you are utilizing your mo morning as an opportunity to pray and meditate on a particular scripture or a particular phrase that you have written out for yourself that's going to really help you tap into the dimension of grace and what God is asking you to do for that day rather than the to-do list that you created yesterday or a week or a month before. You may have a lot of things that you want to do for your business but it's important to tap in every day to the dimension of grace so that you can slowly be able to grow your business in a way that's aligned with your god-given purpose and mission and vision tip number two design a business that supports your life not the other way around it's so easy to let our business take over every aspect of our life now listen when i had been building my own businesses i was working 12 to 14 hours a day and i was hustling and bustling around and i truly got burnt out and i realized that my business was taking over my life and not the other way around i actually didn't have time to spend time with my family nor did i have the time to do the things that i wanted to do and i realized that i was just making money just to make money and i was saving it in the bank for who knows what and at the end of the day it actually hindered me a whole lot and it put me in a position where I had to take a very big break from my business and so what I'm asking you today to do is find a way to build boundaries for your life when it comes to your business so set clear boundaries when it comes to your work and your personal time because you do want to take time for yourself especially your wellness especially your personal time when it comes to seeing your family being with your spouse and also just enjoying some time to go for a walk and really live life for what it is in matthew 6 33 it tells us to seek first his kingdom and all of his righteousness and everything will be added on to us and so before you start to go through your to-do list and begin just working away ask yourself 
what is God wanting me to do today? If it is today that God just wants you to go spend time with your family, then go ahead and do that. If it is that he's asking you to go for a walk before you decide to start off with your work, then go ahead and do that because at the end of the day, you need to get into a place and dimension of grace rather than hustle mode, burnout mode. Tip number three, embrace grace over perfection. So as women, we often feel we need to be perfect and have everything perfect in order to launch. That means the perfect website, perfect social media, perfect launch. But here's the truth. Perfection isn't required to succeed and it is certainly not a godly principle. We serve a God who works through our imperfections and who uses our weaknesses to show his strength. So what's a practical action that you can do today? Instead of striving for perfection, focus on progress and create weekly goals that are realistic and give yourself grace when you don't do things according to plan. Keep moving forward even if it's imperfect. Tip number four, surround yourself with a community of like-minded women who understand your purpose. Proverbs 27, 17 says, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. You're not meant to do this alone. So having a supportive community is going to help you stay in your purpose-filled mission at the same time, be able to reach your goals and reach your financial goals as well, which is very important, but it's going to help you stay grounded and also feel a sense of fellowship. So there are a lot of communities out there that are very hustle centric when it comes to women. But if you're on this channel today and you're also watching this video, you are looking for the dimension of grace. So I will be launching a community um, alongside all the other work that I'm doing. So if you're interested in my community, do stay tuned. I will be launching it very soon. You can add me on Instagram at I am Tanya K, but I will be adding it on YouTube as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification button as well, because I will be posting about it very soon. And finally, tip number five, focus on impact, not just income. It's easy to get caught up in the numbers and revenue goals, but true success comes from impact that you're making in the lives of others. Colossians 3.23 says, Whatever you do, work at it with all of your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. So when you focus on serving others and serving the Lord, the income will follow. So it's about removing yourself from the dimension of fear and hustle and really stepping into the dimension of God and grace. So here's what you can do. Reflect on ways of which you are serving people and serving God's kingdom. So you want to make sure that your marketing, your message, messaging and your services are aligned with the impact that you want to create and just watch how God is going to bless the work of your hands. So ladies, there you have it. Five powerful tips to launch and grow your six plus figure business without the hustle, but with way more grace. And all this grace comes from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So if this video resonated with you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to it, and comment below with your favorite tip. So thanks so much for joining. And until next time, continue walking in faith, grace, and entrepreneurship. Thank you so much. See you in the next video and God bless you.